Hi, my name is Itesh and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. Now, first of all, it's my humble and kind request that you please visit my homepage at the below mentioned web ID, hiteshchaudhry.com and you leave some valuable feedback for me. Now, this is really, really important. Apart from that, you can just say hello to me on my email ID, hitesh at the rate hiteshchaudhry.com too. So, without any further delay, let us move on to the SQL injection and on to our virtual machine. So let me quickly move on to our virtual environment. Here we are. And first of all, I have got my command prompt open up because I have just started my machine and I need to start a few service like Apache to start. I need to start this. And I need to start the MySQL as well. Okay, so MySQL is also running. Now, what I have done, I have also opened up my gedit, which is out there in the applications, in the accessories. Here we have got gedit, and here is my gedit. I can say hello to all of you here as well. And apart from this, let us go to our Mozilla Firefox. Here it is. I can simply type localhost. I hope the URL is pretty much visible as we are going to move most of our things into the URL. Oops, again the same mistake, L should be in caps. Okay, so lesson one with the, our annoying image. Now this image is put up with the same reason that you perform each and everything and learn everything so much quickly that you doesn't get annoyed with this image. So if you want to learn, learn fast because this image is really annoying. Okay, so now for every lesson, what you have to do, first of all, put a question mark, then ID equals one. So this is actually the instruction being given here as well. Now you will find some login name and the password here that says sum and the password is sum as well. I hope it is clearly visible. Now in order to test any web application for SQL injection, we should be very strong with the enumeration part. We need to be out of the box thinker and be crazy while giving our inputs. So let's try what happens when I give ID equals to two. Okay, so the login username and the password got changed. Now being a very crazy, I'll put a five here. Okay, thing and a noun. And being very, very crazy, I'll put a 10 here. Now again, some crazy thing happened. Let me put a 20, 120 here. Okay, this time nothing happened. Okay, that's a part thing. Now, first of all, as a hacker or pen tester, what will come to my mind is very simple thing. That what could be the backend behind this particular query? So let me write one of the backend for it. It would be something like select username and password from table where ID equals to. Let us assume it's our input. It's our input. Now, every time when you put out any input, it is being placed in this manner. So suppose if you are putting one here, it is being placed in the two codes. Now I'm just assuming, I don't know what is actually happening, what might be the perfect query. I'm just assuming being a programmer or a penetration tester. I can put two, three, four, five, and likewise. So this is just my assumption. Now let us again move back to our SQL injection. Now as a programmer, I would have think that always and always the input should be in numeric format. Now, what if happen if I type my name here and this can be really one crazy thing. Okay, nothing happens. And what if I type Hitesh123? Again, nothing happens. So this is actually the enumeration part and you should be patient about it because you guys to learn you are going to learn a quite a lots of thing here. Now, what happened if I put a very long integer or something like that, like uh, a many time nine would be a good answer here. So nothing happens. When I again come back to one, now this is returning me some login ID and password. Okay, one thing one at a time. Okay, so we are clear so far now. But what happens if we put out some special characters? Now, first of all, the special character, which is one of my favorite is a backslash. When I put a backslash, what happens? Let's check it out. Now here we got a very good error. You have an error in your SQL syntax. Check the manual that corresponds to MySQL server version for the right syntax to use near something. Okay. Now my major key point out here is 
although I have put up a backslash here or I can also test it with your very favorite single quote and can apply this again the same error now my point here is why I have got this error this error is really beautiful why simple reason because I was able to get an error from the database that's the key point although the error here should be 404 page not found because this page doesn't exist but we are able to get an error from the database now for the meantime it's an error but I'm able to connect to the database if I'll amend my queries or do something else here I'm actually already connected to database and I can dump the entire database now here is the severe vulnerability being prompting out okay so let us understand this query now here we can see that we have got three and here we actually put our input now this time I have given input one and a single quote now what is happening out here if you notice that there is a clear mismatching of the quotes now quotes and brackets have a formula that says they should always comes in the brackets or in the pairs so quotes and the brackets always comes in the pair and we cannot break that law since we are breaking that law that's why we are getting an error here also what you can do you can copy paste this much of part into your document and what you can simply see that here we have got the two quotes let me get rid of this part this is not but now you will notice that this is actually not a double quote this is being a single quote now this is the best way now here we have got one more quote out here here it is let me highlight it let me delete this and let me also delete the first quote now if you notice now clearly we have got a quote mismatching here it is now it is explaining with the same error and that is saying that hey Hitesh you have provided an input that says one single quote you have mismatched the quote and that is the reason why I'm prompting an error and that is why it says the application is vulnerable okay apart from that my favorite always all time favorite is the backslash by which it automatically gives you that hey programmer has used a single quote here now this is really a good impact to find out that application is vulnerable out here okay so we have got so much things clear apart now in order to move for the SQL injection first of all let us apply a single quote and we know that we have got break the query with a single quote in order to proceed for the SQL injection we first need to solve out this query as well that means you have to join this query now in order to join this query we again have to understand few basic fundamentals and those fundamentals are very simple you can you have to make the explicit right side of the query as undetectable we cannot change this part of the query but we can change the rest of the part in the our provided input so what I'm going to do the simple trick is make everything on the right side as comments you can do that by applying a hyphen hyphen that is query deliminators you can also make that by using a pound sign or that is hash sign these are the two very good example but they can go append as well you can use any other as well okay but make sure when you put a hyphen hyphen here you have to put a space here now the what is the problem out here is if I give a hyphen hyphen here let me give a hyphen hyphen it doesn't join the query why that's the answer we have to find out so let's find it out since we are working in a custom domain most of the time if you'll work on the live website this thing works but in case if that doesn't work that means you need to provide an extra space here but if I provide a space here it's not going to work because it's all the things are URL encoded so what I have to do in case of space I have to give its URL encoding and that's yes you are right it's person 20 now that's fit up the everything but that's not a permanent solution because whenever I write person 20 it's vanish off so in order to get rid of that you can apply a hyphen hyphen then a plus sign it is also going to work so what we have done so far we have break the query and we have joined the query by using this hyphen hyphen so what ultimately we have done we have put a hyphen hyphen here and plus now interestingly we have got this much of st space which you can see in the highlighted portion now we can put any query here as well that is going to be executed 
Now that's the real best part about the injection. So in this video, we have just learned how we can actually break a query and how we can join a query. Now, since I don't want to make this a series quite a boring one and a lengthy one, I want to make it very interactive and very interesting. So that's all we are going to learn in this video. And let's continue up, continue up in the next video, how we can manipulate some queries to get out the data from the database. So thank you so much for watching.